So this is the sixth video in my series, I think. It is how to put together the uh, laminate. So the first thing you want to do is take your extra person and now uh, go ahead and rotate your project around so that the side with the wires is facing away or so that you have access to the side anyway that only has two bus wires, not the side that has one sh uh, two shorts and one long. Go ahead and grab your sheet glass. Uh, if you're using evergreen cells like I am and the same spacing I am, your sheet should be 26 by 32. That'll give you good enough margins on all sides. Uh, have your other person pick up the uh, cells and you're going to slide your uh, glass underneath. As long as you don't press down on the glass, you shouldn't have any worries about it breaking. I accidentally left the label on, and uh, to save time shooting, I uh, left it on, and I made sure that the label was on the outside where I'll still be able to clean it off. Uh, you don't want it on the inside, otherwise it'll be blocking a cell, and that's just wasted power. So go ahead, start sliding your uh, all your cells onto the glass. Uh, even this is the trick so you don't bend up your bus wire and go ahead and reinsert all your uh, your spacers so that you can get the same spacing you had before with your uh, cells go ahead and remove uh, half your spacers and start spreading out your laminate you can use the bottom edge of the glass as a uh, guide to keep it nice and straight now uh, you'll see that we screwed up here a little bit this bottom sheet is about an inch shorter than I wanted it. Uh, it's supposed to be 28 inches long, it's 27. Uh, and here we accidentally touch it to the, uh, I shouldn't say we, I'm the one that screws up. She did fine. I uh, accidentally touch it to the cells, and uh, you don't want to do that early. Ideally, the way to do this is to uh, stick it under on one end, hold the laminate up in the air and bring the whole thing down all at once. Not what I do here. Simple simple fix though, all you have to do is push down on the cells and they'll pop right off. Until it's put on firmly, uh, it will come back up. So you can fix any mistakes. and go ahead just try and work out any air bubbles that you find make sure everything's on nice and smooth with no wrinkles remove the rest of your spacers because you really don't want to get those stuck underneath and go ahead and spread out your other laminate You also want to make sure that your wires are pulled up. They don't want to be underneath the laminate. You want them going straight up and out the top. Uh, in another video, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with those. Uh, basically, the final assembly, where to put them. You want to talk about a half inch to an inch underneath the edge of the glass, and uh, you can always cut off the excess later. The laminate is just another layer that can be blocking sunlight, and you don't want to block any light to your cells. But if you have good enough margins around the edges, you shouldn't have to worry about that. It'll probably be covered up by the framing. Now I left a little, little bit hanging over at the top, and that's fine. It'll help you get it nice and even so that you cover everything. And then uh, just go back through with a utility knife, or in my case, a really dull exacto knife, and just trim off the extra. Just don't press too hard so that you score the glass. final step is to go ahead and grab the uh, that vacuum bag that I put in the supplies uh, and you're going to put the whole panel inside it. 
Now the corners are quite sharp. Uh, even if you put laminate over it, they are still capable of cutting through the plastic. So the real trick to this is, is as you're pulling the bag over, put your own hand on the corner. Since your hand's not moving around, you shouldn't slice it. And uh, go ahead and pull the bag over your arm also. When you get the whole bag up to your elbow, you can slip your arm out and uh, bring the bag over the rest of the way. Uh, I did manage to screw up taking this bag off and uh, sliced it open, so I will need another bag for my third and final panel that I got in this kit. You can see how easily that slips over the edge. It's just the leading edge that's really a uh, problem. So make sure you pull your wires inside and then you're going to want to slide it down to the uh, very bottom of the bag. You don't want the valve uh, sitting on top of any cells, otherwise when you put the vacuum pressure down it might crack some cells, which is very bad. Not very bad, but it can uh, diminish from your overall efficiency. I only had access to a household vacuum. Ideally, you could use a shop vac for this, um, but I used what I had. Uh, I am moving shortly, so I don't have everything to my. I don't have access to everything I normally do. And just smooth out any wrinkles or any bubbles that you get in the uh, vacuum bagging. Uh, you want it to push down evenly on the laminate and suck out all the air that uh, is between the glass and the laminate. Uh, which will firmly hold the cells down on the glass without the use of acrylic or anything like that. The advantage of this, of course, is that if one cell goes bad, you'll be able to cut off some laminate and you'll be able to get to that cell and repair it. Now, I let this set up for uh, about an hour and uh, just to make sure everything stuck real good. That's it for this video. Uh, stay tuned. I'm already working on the next one, which is uh, preparing the plexiglass for the backing, uh, drilling the holes and setting the project box on it.